Oh. Did you see that? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. What's up guys, Frey here. Today's video is gonna be all about float fishing for king salmon using skein as bait. Got some really awesome bobber down footage. You can literally see the fish chewing on this bait, taking down floats, and some awesome king fights, all that good stuff. That's gonna be at the end of the video, but first I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare this stuff step by step using Posky Brax and Fire. Just a simple system, but it works for me. It's really important to have confidence in your bait. And this year I've got confidence in my bait. And it's really helped me a lot to go out and catch some fish on skein. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I'm a really big fan of Potsky Baraxa Fire. I recommend it to everybody who asks me. I've got no association with them or anything like that, but it's just a straight up good product. I've got pink and red here. I prefer red. I actually can't tell the difference very much with the finished product between pink and red, but pink is just a little lighter. I just like to do a batch of each usually, so. This is all you really need. You need your eggs, obviously. These are butterflied out here. These were from fish that were caught yesterday. It's really important to bleed the fish right away. Get that fish on ice, obviously take care of it. Don't want to rough it around too much and break the eggs. So this is the product of just taking care of your fish. It's the next day, the skeins look great. They're ready to be cured. When I have time, I really like to cut my skein into bait-sized chunks before I cure it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, just with scissors. It's pretty easy to follow along the membrane. What I do is I kind of make a strip like this, and you can see the membrane there on the back. Boom, that's a chunk right there. That's about normal for me, maybe a little on the small side. Anyways, I'm gonna cut all this up, then we'll go to curing it. So I've got my chunks here, and you can really just put some Braxa fire on the chunks, throw them in a bag and catch fish with them. But this is my method to make sure that I get just the right amount of cure on them because if you put too much cure, it'll be a nasty sloppy mess, it'll start to fall apart. And if you put too little cure, they're not gonna keep as well. So this is what I've done to get just the right amount so that all the cure reabsorbs perfectly. I've got a plate just lightly covered with the Braxa fire. Then on that plate, I'm gonna lay skin down all my chunks. Just like that, there's one plate full. Then I'm gonna cover them very lightly with Braxifier. And that should be the perfect amount. Just a real light dusting to cover all the eggs. Just like that. That to me is the perfect amount, a little bit all around each chunk. I just take that, send it into a bag. You wanna mix up the chunks a little bit. What's gonna happen in this bag is a bunch of liquid is gonna come out of these eggs. These eggs are gonna sit in some liquid and then they're gonna reabsorb them all back up. So if you get the perfect amount of Braxifier, there's gonna be nothing in here but eggs when you're done. They're gonna be really plump, they're gonna be colorful, and they're gonna fish super good. So you can already see some of that liquid. And it's really good if you have time, every 15 minutes or so, take this bag out of the fridge and turn it over and mix it up, or else the eggs at the bottom are gonna get more cure than the rest of them. But um, that's really all my system is. Once these chunks are done, I will take them, I will lay them out in some paper towels to dry them out a little bit. Then I'll wrap them in paper towels and they'll be ready to fish. Way. Dude, this is a big buck. 
This is a freaking huge buck, dude. It's long. <laughs> Oh my god, do you see it? Oh, oh my god! Sorry, 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 gotta go down. Oh, come back up. Get out. Dude, this thing is. I feel like my reel is going to fall off the sliding rings. I didn't look. Dude, that is a long fish. Yeah, brother. Let's freaking go. That's just a freaking tank. Perfect storm. Good bobber fish there. I just got covered in mud by this absolute tank. My biggest king ever by far. It's bleeding, so we're gonna kill it. But look at the size. Oh, there you go. Don't do this to yourself. What's going on here? Drop I dropped my fish too. Jesus. All right, crazy fish. Got him. Biggest king I ever caught. No clue how big it is. Big. <laughs> Long. Buck on skein. Absolute blast. The skein train. The skein train is going down right here. This fish is bleeding, so we're keeping it. Nate will smoke it. It'll be good somehow. Nice. Oh, beauty. Yes, a little one. Give me that. <laughs> what the heck? You see them all? He's burning me bad. It's not even big. No, 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 no. This guy would make my day. I don't even freaking care. Dude, it's a chrome. I thought it was small. Get him. Woo! Dude! <laughs> Just a solid, solid hen. Got good chrome on it as far up river. Fresh skein. Hard fight, but it didn't take too long. Thankfully, I had a good net man. My buddy Matt. Would you get that one on, Matt? Orange chunk? You look good right now, Matt. You look like you're in control of the situation. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're definitely winning. Oh, look at him. It's game bobbing. Chrome buck. Shoot on that for a second. Nice. 
and swimming right at me, head shaking. That's awesome. Clean hand, dude. Clean head. What did it look at it? about to happen? This is about to... <laughs> the thing is, like 20 just left too. And it does not matter. Thank you. You can go. You're free to go. 